Hello everybody, we're back to another video, and today we're finally talking about episode 6, the finale of Moon Knight. Yes, the show is finally over. Maybe, maybe not. We don't really know yet. But, we will be getting into the spoilers in this episode. So, if you haven't seen episode 6 of Moon Knight or the entire show, first of all, why? Go see it, like right now. Go to Disney Plus, switch over to Disney Plus right now, watch, binge the whole show now, like right now. And then come back to this video once you do that. Spoiler alert, I'll give you a few more seconds to click away. Now let's dive into some spoilers. So yeah, this show as a whole I think was pretty good, and this episode was pretty decent. I, I've seen some mixed people, or mixed people, mixed reactions of this episode. Some people saying, I've heard people criticize it as well as praise it. I think it's right there in the middle. I don't think it's terrible, but I don't. But I feel like they could have done it better, like by making this a two-part episode. That's what they should have done. This should have been a, a seven-episode series with this finale being broken into two parts. But whatever. But let's dive into the episode with where we kind of kick off in the beginning, where we start with Layla disguising herself as one of the hero's henchmen or goons or followers, whatever. And she hitchhikes with them. But uh, now that Hera doesn't have anyone in his way, he brings Amit back. So now she, so now Amit is back on Earth. And e even though Hero scales are not balanced, he, she still allows him to live and be her avatar. M meanwhile, while they're in this thing, this uh, chamber of the gods or whatever it is, uh... Layla fi finds Conchu's statue and breaks it, freeing Conchu. And he tries to convince her to become his new avatar, but she refuses. So, he goes on to have a small battle of just a preview of what we're going to get with Amit. But when Mark comes back to life, he flees to find him. Because Mark, because meanwhile with Mark, he actually leaves Paradise, which is weird because he just turns around, and starts walking, and it changes from where he was to that sandy place where he finds Stephen, and he, he he gives him the speech, and even though he's starting to turn to sand, they eventually both come back to life. Do the door is open, they walk through it, and now they're alive again, which was okay. Okay. I don't know how that worked. That seemed like a big deal to get to to get in it, and then they made it a big deal to get out of it. And he just had to give a speech to Stephen to get out of it. He should have just hopped the boat with when Stephen went overboard. But whatever. Yeah, it, what, what I loved though was when he was talking to Conchu, Mark and Stephen switched back and forth between the entire conversation with with Moon Knight and Mister Knight and. I, I know that it was kind of controversial when they made Steven Mr. Knight. I love it. I love that decision. I thought it was awesome. He's great in this episode. And that and the fact that they were going back and forth while talking and while fighting, but we'll get to that later. I thought it was awesome. But, yeah. Me, they make a deal where that if they defeat Hero, he will let them both free. Meanwhile, back with Layla, I'm as the whole place is coming down, she agrees to be Hippo Lady's like uh, avatar. What I so that like because what whatever one person, the one god's avatar, or it tells her that they need more avatars or whatever to defeat him, so she lets Hippo she lets Hippo Lady make her her avatar. But, in doing this, she gets an awesome new suit with the wings, which was awesome, which I'm not gonna lie, the wings l reminded me a lot of Wonder Woman's rings from 1984, but, you know, better. <laughs> the wings were, the wings were cooler in this, in this suit. Sorry, Falcon, you got competition now. Better watch your back, Falcon. But anyway... What's interesting, but they didn't do much on this, was that when when she was talking back at the fourth with the hippo lady, yes, I'm, I'm continuing to call her, call her hippo lady. Hippo lady mentions how her her father would would be so proud of her, and because he, she's met him, she helped him get to paradise, which 
I thought was actually super interesting. I thought like, it was going to be like, oh, my father ask a bunch of questions, ask if maybe they, she can see him. She didn't. They kind of just said that and then moved on, which I thought was weird, but oh well. And then Kanchu and Amit fight in in the in well where we are right now Egypt they fight Mark and Mark slash Steven fight Hera and then they eventually get help with from Layla and we get this epic fight that I thought was awesome where it cuts back and forth between Kanchu and Emmett fighting as well as Layla Mark and Steven fighting and like I mentioned earlier it was awesome seeing them constantly switch between Mark and Steven doing different skills and moves Fighting off Harrow and his goons, as well as oh, Layla, is also kicking butt station. and taking These names. Big ideas. And, and I thought it was just an awesome fight scene. I thought it was great, and I just love seeing Marcus Steven switch back and forth. That was the, like awesome. And I was kind of right when I theorized back in episode what was it two that we, we introduced the Mister Knight, where I said that Mister Knight would. Is, or Steven's probably going to evolve throughout the show becoming the Mr. Knight that we know from the comics and I was kind of right because in this episode he's an awesome fighter and he's even doing all these like acrobatic dodges and counters and stuff like that so yeah he's awesome but what was interesting is that was that during the fight it seems like they're going to lose because Layla starts getting in trouble she's trapped with someone with one of the goons shooting at her Harrow's holding his staff on top of Steven about to or sorry Mark about to kill Mark while Emmett seems to be defeating Kanchu when all of a sudden we get a blackout just like we got in episode one where it flashes and now and now everyone around him is dead or almost dead they're beaten to a bloody pulp and Lyle's like what the heck was that Mark and he's like I don't know I blacked out and he he's like that wasn't you Stephen was he? he was like uh no so and we all know who that was we all know who it was, but I'll, I'll talk about him a bit later on. But yeah, they, they actually, they, they defeat Amit, they defeat Hero, they shove Amit into Hero. It's not as weird as I made it sound. They do that, and and they, they tra trapping Amit in a mortal body. And Kanchu tries to convince Mark to kill him, and him and Amit. That way they can't do any more evil. And then he realizes that he's starting to sound a lot like Amit. What? Because he wants to kill her before she does future harm, so he decides not to kill her. Kill him slash her, uh, Kanchu and, uh, not Kanchu, Emma and Harrow. And he decides, he tells him that if you want him dead, you have to kill him yourself. And then he sets Mark and Steven free. Where they eventually wake up in the asylum from the last episode. Now, what is real? Well, we're about to find out, because while Harrow's trying to t Dr. Harrow's trying to talk to Stephen and Mark, they don't buy it. So when he starts walking over to his seat, he's, he's leaving blood footprints on the floor, showing that his feet are bleeding. He's like, what's going on? Stephen and Mark have broken free from this fake reality, because it sounds like the asylum was fake and built by Kanchu. And they wake up again, this time in bed from their from their house from the first episode they get out of bed they start walking forward it's it's still mark and steven they're still the way they were when switching back and forth to talk like they were when they were fighting they get out of bed they walk forward the chain catches them because they're still chained up and they fall down ending where we began the show credits yeah so i i kind of mixed feelings on it because on the one hand i loved the action in this film i thought it was awesome when, like, when Moon Knight and Harrow fought on top of the pyramids right there. That was awesome and epic. I do think this episode was rushed a bit, which has been a problem with Marvel shows. I found it kind of interesting to me, personally. Because the Arrowverse shows, like the CW shows that I, I used to watch, I haven't caught up on them recently yet. But they're about to be canceled, so, you know, whatever, probably doesn't matter anymore. But whatever, we're not talking about that. I, one of the biggest problems they've always had is that, some sort of dude, musical seriously, show down the I, I, I don't like care, I'm trying to talk about TV well, shows. Well, but they, the problem with those, those Arrowverse shows is that they draw them out way too long, making it 20 episodes long, making it a whole bunch of crappy filler, to the point where you're just like, take out a lot of these episodes, we don't need all these episodes. 
and Mar these Marvel Disney Plus shows are doing the exact opposite, where they keep it to be like six episodes long they don't allow it to be as long as it needs to be so they ca they're kind of like two op opposite opposite problems I, I just found that interesting it's not that big of a deal i know compared to dc and marvel is the whatever big deal who cares especially now i mean i am also comparing low budget cw to big budget disney plus but you know whatever who cares but yeah the episode's not over yet because we finally do have an credit scene just one just one mid credit scene but we still get an end credit scene, and I thought it was a pretty cool end credit scene. Because in the end credit scene, we see a hero is now in a mental hospital, the, like the asylum that we saw earlier. And someone comes and we pull, grabs a wheelchair and pulls him out the door. But before they leave, we see that there's a bunch of dead, dead, b bloodied up bodies around him. They t he takes him to this limo, I think it's a limo. Where he sees Conchu and he's like, oh, you can't hurt me. Also, Conchu's in like a fancy suit now, so you know. He's, he's trying to be, look as cool as Steven. Sorry, buddy. Steven looked the best in that suit. I'm just saying. But, yeah, he he's talking to him. He's like, you can't hurt me. He's like, yeah, well, I have someone else to be my avatar for when. Because now that M Mark and Steven aren't. And since they didn't want to kill you, my new avatar will. And he goes, I want to introduce you. Two, the window comes down, and it's Jake Lockley, played by Oscar Isaac, the third personality. Mark, uh, yeah. Mark pulls out, the gu pulls out a gun and shoots Harrow, killing him. Boom, the end. Rest of the credits, that's it. No more Moon Knight. Ho hopefully not, but, you know, that's what it seems like. Yeah, that was a pretty cool end credit scene. But it'd be better if it said, to be continued in Season 2. But it didn't say that. And that's my problem. What's going on with Moon Knight next? Now, there's so many possibilities. We could see a Multiverse of Madness. We could see him in Midnight Suns. I'm just putting that out there again. We could see him in a Season 2, but... We don't know if there will be a Season 2, because like there's been a bunch of stuff whether or not there will be a Season 2 or not. Because at first, we thought it was going to be a one-and-done... Because a whole bunch of, like, with an award, award show or whatever, they put it in a limited series instead of a show. Limited series is one-offs, one one season. Shows are, like, multi-season. So that's why we're like, oh, it's a one-off, one season, one and done. Th that's it, the end. But then they released a trailer saying the season finale. This is called the season finale. And it definitely fe left off with a cliffhanger where it feels like we need a season two. So I have no idea if we're getting a season two or not. I hope so. I would love a season two. We need season two in Moon Knight. I just can't wait to see Moon Knight and Mr. Knight again, because they are awesome. And I want to see more of this, these characters. Also, what the heck happened to Layla after the finale? We have no idea what happened to her. But, yeah, like, maybe she said that she wanted to be Hippo Lady's avatar for a, a temporary time. Did she change her mind, or, she, or did she leave to Hippo Lady? I have so many questions. I still... Which is not very good if this, if this is the last season. If they're not doing any more seasons. So hopefully there is a season 2. I, ho I sure hope so. But yeah. But what did you guys think of this episode? Did you love it? Did you hate it? Did you think it was okay? How do you guys feel about how Marvel has done okay jobs at capping off their Disney Plus show? I'm someone who for every finale personally. I thought they were all okay. Rushed but not terrible. That's been my thoughts for almost every, every season finale. But I, I, I must say, Loki, I can forgive it a bit more, just because it will be getting a second season. But for the rest, I can't really say the same thing. Even the WandaVision, Multiverse of Madness, and and Agatha House of Harkness will be will be kind of like sequels or season twos. So I guess there's that, but you know, still. But yeah, I'm very curious of what you guys think. And also, what's your favorite of the Disney Plus shows now? I'll have to say, I think this one has reached the top three. That definitely reached top three. Out of all the, MC, all, the, all the MCU shows that we've gotten so far since WandaVision up to now Moon Knight, this is definitely top three up there with Hawkeye and WandaVision. Oh, and also, I was wrong. We did not get any Midnight Suns teases or references. But I don't, I wouldn't count the Midnight Suns out just yet. I still think that team up is coming because, well, we have the setup from Eternals and as well as, well, Moon Knight, I still think could be a part of it. 
So, yeah, I wouldn't count them out just yet. You know, because I want the Midnight Suns now. Especially now, because I love Moon Knight and Mr. Knight even more now. But, I also, if you guys are interested, maybe I'll make a video saying what the lineup could be, and what, my line, what the lineup I would prefer would be. But, but, you have to let me know if you'd be interested in that. But, yeah. But, yeah, what'd you, what'd you, what about for you guys? If you like this video, please hit like. If you want to see more videos like this, please consider hitting the subscribe button. Hit the notification bell so you know when I post. So you know when I post and go live because I've done a bunch of reviews. I've done every episode of Moon Knight, every episode of WandaVision, some episodes of Hawkeye, as well as movie reviews like No Way Home, N No Way Home, Eternals, Black Widow, and and many more to come like Doctor Strange and Multiverse of Madness. I'm recording this. I'm recording this the, the premiere of Moon Knight the finale. I'm not sure when it will be posted, I'll be completely honest with you. I'm seeing Doctor Strange Multiverse Madness Day 1. Whether or not I get to record and post my review on Day 1. Well, that's a different question. We'll see what happens. But yeah, if you want to see more reviews and, and even gameplay videos and news, please start hitting the subscribe button, hit the notification bell, so you know when I post go live. Thank you so much for taking time to watch. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Let us get us.